Let's solve equation number 3 using the multiplicative inverse. Step 1. Read the equation. 75 equals 25 times m. We see that the variable is now on the right hand side. 75 on the left hand side and 25 times m on the right hand side. Step 2. Determine the inverse operation and apply it to both sides. The solved equation is when the variable is alone on one side of the equation. Now our goal is to get m to be all alone on this side of the equation. Why is m not alone? Because it's being multiplied times 25. How do we undo multiplying by 25? We divide by 25 on both sides because we have to use it on both sides. So we divide by 25 first here on the right hand side just to show that's why we chose this operation. This is our inverse operation. And we divide the other side 75 by 25 as well. 75 divided by 25 equals 3. Like if you have 3 quarters you have 75 cents. 25 divided by 25 equals 1. So you have 1m which is the same thing as just having m. 1 times m equals m, and we now have a solved equation. m equals 3. How did we determine and use the inverse operation to solve our equation? We use the coefficient of the variable and apply the multiplicative inverse to the coefficient on the variable, even if it's on the right side. Dividing 25 by 25 turned 25m into 1m, which of course is just m. And on the other side, to keep balance, we also divided by 25, giving us 75 divided by 25 equals 3. And ultimately, we found m equals 3. Step 3 check the solution. To check the solution, we take the original equation, 75 equals 25 times m, and we replace m with 3, making sure to use parentheses because we are substituting into a variable that has a coefficient. We want to make sure that this is 25 times 3, and we check to make sure that this equation is a true equation. 25 times 3 equals 75. 75 equals 75 is a true equation, is a true comparison, and so we know that m equals 3 is the value that makes 75 equals 25 times m true. How did we check the solution? We check the solution by substituting it into the original equation and making sure that the equation is true. You are now ready to solve the equation in number 4 using the multiplicative inverse to get the variable x alone on one side.